Hey, we're doing a little mic check, a little Ooh. audio check there. Yeah, so we have something called an IFB that people talk to us in. And yes. It wasn't working, Ugh. and now it is loud and clear. Good <laughs> morning, Annette. Well. How and are you? My ears are bleeding. My ears are bleeding. Yes. <laughs> Good morning. Look at us not like totally clashing. <laughs> yes. We did our homework last night. <laughs> <laughs> morning, Brian. As and opposed, Emily. as opposed Hi. to yesterday. Oh yeah. Yes. Yes. Hurt, yesterday was eyeballs. horrid. Yes. So Annette sent me a picture of what she's wearing. So then I sent her a picture of what I was going to wear, and then it got weird. And it I, got very weird. Yeah, because I sent yes. a, I sent a picture. I was like, oh, I'm going to have some fun with this. So I went into <laughs> Liz's closet and pulled oh. out a dress and put it on the bed. And I took a picture of the dress and then sent it to Annette. Then okay. I forgot that I left the dress on the bed. <laughs> and then Liz came home and saw the dress and thought, what are you doing when I'm not here? <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, I'm texting my work wife. Yes, <laughs> what right. Do, what, are, what are going to wear? Very weird. Sure. Sure. Dressing yes, up yes. in your clothes. Just, <laughs> just, yeah, just, just bear with me here. It's okay. It's okay. No, no, <laughs> definitely not. Uh, good morning. How good are morning. we? We're good. Thank you. My yeah. IFB doesn't work, but unlike you, I can't just take it off the belt. I, it's all oh, it's like, all yes. like it's all wired in. in. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> I'm not hearing anything today. Okay, we'll keep you posted. How's that? Yeah, <laughs> just tell me where I need to stand. Sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you know what's coming up? That's that, a you see, it's just yeah, I do. We're going to talk Golden Globes. Oh right, that's and, awesome. Uh, yes. We're going to be talking about Prince Harry. He was on Stephen Colbert, and the interview is awesome. <laughs> Still okay. doing the tour, is he? Yeah. Oh yeah. He's oh yeah. Great, though it's oh, so yeah. good. I have like a special part of my heart to for <laughs> Harry now. Uh, okay. 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 All, All right. right. Have other that's parts good. That they, okay. Yes. We'll get and into when that. We, when we need you later on on the show, we'll be going. Yeah, hey, just holler and you'll hear me running, <laughs> and you'll hear me coming. Okay. All right. Yeah, uh, All right. What okay. have you got first? The, today, oh, well, I got Brian? another another cloudy day. Yay! Oh, yeah. hey, Good morning. There you are. There you are. Hi, everybody. Okay. Golden Globes last night, Tuesday night, which is kind of weird. Yeah, and I mean, people like us, we just can't stay up for that late. Yeah. No. I, uh, I, I watched the intro mm -hmm. with Gerard Carmichael. It was he's, great. He's he's dry. Like he's very, he's, he's very comfortable on the stage. Like loves like silence mm. and working the silence the in the room. Pauses. The awkward pauses. Awkward yeah. pauses. I can, I can appreciate a good awkward I pause. I do too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, he was good. What else? Uh, what else happened? Because that's all I saw. It's my awkward pause. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Yes. Yes. You were so awkward you there. You set it up so well. I know. <laughs> Steven Spielberg. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Uh, he, well done. He says he avoided telling his own story for decades, but at the ripe age of 74, he figured he'd better get around to doing it. More important than your hobby. Can you stop calling it a hobby? His autobiographical. His autobiographical. Oh my gosh. You know what I'm talking about. Autobiography? To say. Thank you. No, his autobiography. Film? And that help us out here. The Fable. Biographical. <laughs> wow, The Fablemans was named best movie drama at last night's Golden Globe Awards. That reference? Yeah. Short round? No. So Raiders of No, no, um Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. Temple He's short round. He's the little he was like, the little, he's kid little kid with the Yankee cap on. That like Mr. Dones. I, I, Mr. I, Jones. I, I asked Mr. you if you've seen I don't think you've seen Temple of Doom. I, uh, no. <gasps> oh, yeah. no. So yeah. No. You've never seen Temple Te of Doom? Temple of Doom I've pretty... seen I like I've seen some of the there's, Indiana Jones. There's three there's three well the there's one? three of the oh, good ones. So great. No, it's, it's the second like, one. Okay. It's a, it's a second one. He reminds one. me of every child everywhere. Mr. Jones, yeah, Mr. Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones, Mr. Jones. He's Mr. fantastic. Jones. And then he was talking last night how he never thought he'd get another role after that. Yeah. And then he got this role. Amazing. And he won, won I know I get it. Yeah. Okay, now we have to get to this story because Prince Harry has certainly made his rounds in the last few days promoting or really defending his new book, Spare. He joined Stephen Colbert on the late show that I am on the pro Harry bandwagon. Because I think you could go either way. People are either bashing him and disrespecting him, saying, what are you doing? This is just for attention. You're ruining the royals. But on the other hand, in the camp that I am now in, I think he truly believes that it is coming from the right place. He doesn't want other people to go through the suffering that he went through. And he is making the right choices for him and his family. OK. And everybody can have their opinion. Yep, 100%. And you, and you have yours. I do. Okay. Brian. Oh, oh, oh there's pause. that pause. There's, awkward okay. pause. <laughs> Work that pause I'm in this morning. I'm not comfortable with it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you there. I am. Okay. We'll get you there. All right. Yeah, we'll get you there.
Oh, you're here. Good. Come on in, because I work with Annette, and I work with Brian, and I work with Emily. I know Annette and Brian are very, very good at knowing songs and knowing lyrics of songs, and a lot well, of things... this is where you're going with this. They, okay. A lot okay. of things yes. are in their minds, and they remember songs. How I are remember you? anything else. Yeah, but there's a lot of good information when it comes to music. How are you with, like, remembering songs or naming that tune, Emily? Tim, I think you're forgetting that I was married to a radio DJ for a very long time. Ah. Okay. So is that good or bad? Good. Oh. That, that works against you. Uh. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Let's put it that way. Uh, but yes, coming up so in Chit Chat. <laughs> so what you're saying is you just tuned out. Oh. <laughs> you didn't pay any attention. <laughs> I love that. Because uh. uh. that's, that's what I get at home. I talk about the music and it's oh, gone. Okay, thank you. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, well, coming up in Chit Chat, I have a very special fun game for you guys. It okay. premieres, the show premieres tonight on CHCH. It is Celebrity Name That Tune. And we're actually going to play our own round and see how well we fare. But, Tim, you're probably right. I think Annette and Brian are going to beat us both. Yeah. I'm going to try and make a good showing. It depends but, what kind of music it is. Yeah. Yeah, it depends on the kind of music. And it's on a music. piano. Yeah. Yeah. It's on a piano, oh, so it's not like you're getting the radio version. Okay. That's, that right? was okay. my next point. It yeah. depends on what kind of version you exactly. hear. Exactly. Yes. So Now, Brian, you would remember the original name, that tune. Did they, did they play it on... Uh, you just got the instrumental thing. Well, uh, I'm trying to. I'm, you know, I, there, there. You see, I remember tunes and everything, but facts, I don't know. What, yeah. what facts? I um, can't remember how I'm they did remember, it on the original yeah. one. Uh, yeah. I, I'll when was the original one? Think about that. Like, I was a little kid and used to play it, and my grandparents. <laughs> So right. Are you asking what year, Tim? Yeah. Yeah, it would yeah. have been like 70s. 70s. Okay. Yeah. okay. Right. All right. So that's coming up in Chit Chat. We're going yes. to have some fun with that. It's going to be so um, fun. Good. Are we going to have some fun with the sun today, Brian? No oh, sun okay. today. No, yeah. sorry. Right. Not going to happen today. We have to wait again until, well, at least the weekend. We're, we're, we have sun in the forecast, which okay. is good news. But we. If you're looking for something to do with the entire family this weekend, Lighthouse Immersive presents Disney Immersive. Take a look at this giant Mickey. This is just one of the first things that you see when you come into Disney Immersive. There's so much going on here. I can't wait for you to see the actual big show because it's incredible. Corey, we've been talking about how spectacular the show is, how many people are loving it so far. Give me a little bit of history about Lighthouse Immersive. Well, so this is a project that we started to bring immersive shows, which you're about to see what an immersive show is, but it's a completely new genre of entertainment that brings technology together with art to create a totally new experience. And so our first plan mm -hmm. before the pandemic <laughs> uh, in, in, in the autumn of 2019 was to bring a show called Immersive Van Gogh. Yes. Uh, and and, uh, so many people saw that. So many people saw it. Yeah. It was an incredible, ended up being an incredible success, but there were a lot of challenges getting it open during the pandemic. But we opened here, the very first one, here in Toronto, in the Toronto Star Building, which is where we're standing. Mm -hmm. uh, and we opened it as a drive-in, so people actually were driving their cars around here. Uh, that's and so once cool. they got inside the gallery, they would see the show from inside their cars. And so that's how we handled it during the pandemic. But mm -hmm. it became this incredible success. And then we ran to the U.S. and opened a whole bunch of them across the U.S. in New York, in L.A., uh, San Francisco, Chicago, and really 20 other cities. Mm -hmm. uh, and by the time we finished doing Immersive Van Gogh at the end of 2021, six million Americans had seen the show. Wow. Which is roughly one in 60 American citizens. That's really saw cool. The show. That's a crazy uh, statistic. So then the question became, of course, what to do next? Mm -hmm, we have course. galleries, we have projectors, we have the, the, space. The, the space, the model as to how to how to do this and what would be an amazing next project um, mm -hmm. for an immersive show. Uh, and so after a lot of brainstorming and talking, we hit on Disney mm -hmm. uh, and we immediately began work on what is here now, opened on uh, December 21st, this incredible immersive show. Wow, and I, I love this one. I love the Van Gogh one, but this one especially because it's going to light up so many children's hearts. This is multi-generational. At the end of the day, Van Gogh was a kind of a bit more of a narrow focus. It, yep. was, it was adults, but this is kids. This is grandparents. Yeah, this is there, everybody. There's three generations of Disney. This year is the 100th anniversary yeah. of Disney animation. Wow. 
uh, and this is a great way to come out and celebrate it. Well, coming up, we are going to be taking a look at a little bit of Disney animation. We're going to check out some of the uh, original sketches and how they kind of come to be. And then, of course, we're going to take you into the immersive experience. So don't go anywhere. Lots more coming up on Morning Live. Joining us on the couch. I know. Oh, it's wow. so exciting. exciting. We're we're all here. Play a game. <laughs> all right. Well, there is a brand new game show premiering tonight on CHCH. Can these famous faces face the music and name that tune? Buckle up. January 11th. Okay, you want to play like that? Wow. The celebrity music play along game is back. I'm going to name that tune in four notes. Oh, oh, oh. With a money making showdown for charity. <laughs> making the top hits. Wake me up before you go, go. Yes! Celebrity Name That Tune. All new tonight at 8 on CHCH. More than that. <laughs> the iconic okay. music guessing game is back, mm. hosted by Jane Kukowski and Randy Jackson. Celebrities will get their chance to win $100,000 for the charity of their choice if they can name that tune correctly. And with that being said, let's play Name That Tune. Here okay. is the first clue. Listen up. Okay. Okay, yay! Okay. Okay. Thankfully, right. it's not was, just me. I, I was really nervous. Oh, <laughs> I was too, too. too. <laughs> wow. Wow. Got it. Uh, okay, uh, bonus points. Who sings that song? Steppenwolf. Steppenwolf. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Right. That's up your alley. Brian wins. Perfect. Okay, next clue. Ready? Okay. Number two, name that tune. Feeling a key. Yeah. Keep yeah, that one would remind me. Yeah. Keep me, uh, keep, oh. keep me. Nope. Alone. And I don't know the artist. Yep. Uh, see, the, any of these newer songs, I wouldn't know as okay. well. Okay. Um, mm. It's not that new. Tansy, who what, is this? What? Who is, is it? Not? it? Okay. Leona Lewis. Leading Leona Love. Is that that new? No. Okay, so I get like a quarter of a point, right? No. Yeah. Uh, okay, you can have a quarter. <laughs> we'll give you a quarter. Sure. What are you gonna, what are you gonna What's that? From? Say that again, Tansy. 2007. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see, I, okay. I get a quarter of a point because I at least know sure. the words. We'll give uh, yeah. Okay. Is that what those were? <laughs> All right. Clue, <clears throat> clue number three, please. Okay. Here is number three. Name that tune. So, um, okay. what, a, what a man, what a what man, man, what a really man, good man. man. Is that the name of the song? Yeah. I, I, I'm going to say it is. Uh, it's not salt and pepper. It's. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 it is it's on What a Man is, what? is the title. What did she say on? Salt and Pepper. Okay. And, and Vogue. Okay. okay, okay, my IFB just, just like. Okay. Okay, all right. I don't have an IFB anymore. Okay. All right, oh, so let's no. go. Oh, oh interesting. Let's go. Oh, you're out. Right. 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 Goodbye. Number three. Number three. Number four. 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 It's number four. Name that tune. Oh. What? Oh, I know this. I know this. Good. Oh, it's coming. And I don't. It's coming. Nope. Okay, I've lost it. Nope. New old. What is it? Panic at the Disco. Panic at yeah, the Disco. I write no songs idea. Of tragedy. Nope. Don't know you that would, one. You would probably no. know. You would probably know it to hear Maybe. the rest of it. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Do we get time for one more? Number five. One more. Here is number five. Name that tune, Stephanie. Uh, oh. um, it's a country yeah. singer. It's female. Oh, you know, it's, it isn't it to Faith Hill? Oh, uh, oh, it could be. I think it your is. kiss yeah. is kiss. kiss. Yes, <laughs> it's called this kiss. This isn't kiss. It? Yes. This kiss? Is it this kiss? Okay, this be. kiss. And it's Shania. Isn't yes. It? And who is it? No, it is Faith, Faith Hill. Hill. Oh, there you Yay! Wow! Look at you go. Okay, wow. All right.
Yeah. All right. I, cool. yeah. Well, we all did pretty well. Uh, all right. right. So yeah. that's tonight, yeah. eight o'clock. On tonight, TACH. eight o'clock. Okay. Yeah. That's a fun thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. What do you got coming up? Uh, Burlington Mayor Marianne Mead Ward. We should play with her as well. <laughs> yeah. <She's coming> in. <laughs> okay. Every guest that comes in here now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, another dish of trend spotting. Uh, Glenn Floroso is on the show talking about home technology. Mm -hmm. If you're celebrating a birthday today, okay, name this song because it comes from Mary J. Blige. Happy birthday. All right. That's a check on your forecast now. Here's Emily. Some of the original sketches from Disney were in the character development studio and so educational to see how the sketches were done and to what they turned into. Corey, this is such a cool space. I'm not an animator, so I can't obviously sit at the desk, but what a cool showpiece. Yeah, it's a perfect re replica of the desk that we're used at Disney Animation from the beginning. Uh, we have a video recreation of an animator, how the sketches are made, uh, and this really takes you behind the scenes so you can begin to understand exactly how all of the incredible masterpieces that were made in the Disney Studios came about. And all of this section is designed by David Corrins, who's the set designer of the musical Hamilton. That's incredible. So not only all these sketches on the wall, these little tiny sketches here kind of give us a look of how it started and then kind of how it goes through the process and how it finishes. Now, this isn't the only room that's kind of before you get into the main immersive space. There's tons of stuff here for people to see. Oh, look at Mickey. So cute. Okay. Fantasia Mickey. This space here? Well, so this continues. We have this amazing opportunity to meet Anna oh. and Elsa, which is a fan favorite. Oh, I bet. These are actual sculptures that were in the offices at Disney Studios, and we just said, we have to have those. Oh my gosh, so, that's so cool. So we emptied their office of sculpture. <laughs> <laughs> we're taking them. Think about how much fun it is to be working in a place with these kinds of sculptures. Oh, yeah. Th this is a, a activation around storyboarding. Um, so when they begin to make a film, uh, they start with storyboards, mm -hmm. and so this sort of shows how from script to sketch to actual animation. Um, so that's a lot of fun for people. And they just come in and you flip it and you play with it. Oh, that's so neat. So the before and after kind of, so the yeah. sketch and then how it kind of turns out in the film. Whoa. Oh, very cool. This one, when we saw it in the Disney archives, was what I was most excited about. So here you have how the special effects in Cinderella's dress as it comes about and she magically transforms yes, for the ball. So these are all the sketches, and then we bring it to life by, show, by showing how these, these sketches come into the animation. Wow. And all of this makes up a second of film, all of these sketches together. <laughs> so much work for such a little outcome. Yep. Uh, and the kids can try this it out is themselves. The favorite. This is the fan favorite. When the kids come in here, they just go nuts. So we have instructions on how to, dis how to draw your favorite Disney characters. Oh, look. And they come in and they make them come to life. This one's kind of traced, so I'm cheating, actually. But my kids would love this part. They love the drawing, right? So we have kids who come in here and just spend an hour doing this. I just want to draw. I just want to draw. OK, we're going to head into the main area in just a few moments. I'm going to continue my sketch here of who am I drawing? Donald Duck. Donald Duck. Donald Duck. Him and I go way back. He's one of the originals. Uh, and so make sure you stay with us, because we've got lots more coming up. Oh, good, you are here. Come on in here. It is Wednesday. Check the piece of paper. It is January the 11th. <laughs> that is the right date, I it think is, it is. It's it is. awesome. And it kind of feels like January outside, Brian, today. Uh, yeah, it's a little chilly this morning, actually. Mm -hmm. Minus 3, wind chill minus 10. We haven't been that chilly. Uh, it's not really cold, but no. really chilly that for a while. Yeah, even I left the house this morning, and I, I did think to myself, Man, it is January. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I don't know, past it's green Januarys outside, are, right? are a little bit different. I remember a year ago, like the middle of January, we got smacked with like a whole bunch of snow. Mm -hmm. And I got, got stuck in my back like alleyway and I had to dig dig myself out and like Yes, we yeah. remember Tim complaining yeah, and all. Right? Yeah. Yeah. on and on and like, oh woe is me. So like we Yeah, we're always gonna complain. We're Canadians, that's what we do with that's what we do with the weather, right? Because we're complaining there's not enough True. sun, I guess, right? But, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Yeah. Like Brian, is it true? Like, I feel like we haven't seen wall to wall sunshine, like one of those bright, beautiful blue sunny nope. days since we, December like 13th or something. We haven't had that for a long time. Oh. Yeah, what we need is a real nice string of some sun. We're going to get a couple of days in the forecast of some sun for, uh, Saturday and Sunday, thankfully okay. for the weekend. But That's yes, good. you're right. It's been a long time. Yeah. Way too long. Yeah. yeah. I'm kind of speechless right now, Miles. 
this is what you mean by immersive. Well, if you're speechless, our job is done because yeah. we want you to walk in here and think, wow, I'm in the middle of the savannah in I'm, the circle of life. I'm in the Lion King right now. I'm expecting Simba to show up any moment in real life. Tell me a little bit about your role and what you did to put this all together. Well, when Corey Ross, the founder of Lighthouse Immersive, came to me and said he wanted to do something narrative that wasn't just um, you know, fine arts with Van Gogh, which had been very successful, Klimt, Frida Kahlo, we talked about what the best uh, opportunity would be and I said that in my opinion it would definitely be Disney mm -hmm. so we approached Disney and uh, you know they don't often partner with people but I think they saw that that new medium was very successful and Van Gogh had worked out well and they wanted to be involved so we sought to put together a show we um, they want to honor their animators and do Walt Disney animation as opposed to the entire company so we took their 61 films that they've made over the last hundred years wow. and and put together a show that we thought would be kind of representative of a Disney film, give us all our best classic characters, many of the better known songs, and just, you know, make you feel, make you laugh, make you cry, and mostly make you feel like you're in a 360 degree space Honestly. where it, you're surrounded by uh, those environments. It's tingling, like it's, it's giving me goosebumps just being in this space, and it's got a little bit of a narrative to it, right? So it's got highs and lows. Yeah, we wanted it to feel like a traditional Disney movie where, first of all, you establish that dreams and wishes are important mm -hmm. and, you know, that it's important to sort of chase your dreams and uh, then we meet all of our kind of protagonists, those great characters mm -hmm. that you've met from Simba to Ariel uh, to, uh, you know, uh, the Encanto family and then we see the challenges that they meet along the way and we you know, go through those challenges with them. We see them find themselves, come of age, do the right thing, rely on friends and family and their wits. And just when all seems lost, uh -oh. the lights go out. It gets dark. And uh, <laughs> when all seems lost, uh, everything, they find their resolve and, yeah. and, and the happy ending that we've yeah. come to expect. Yeah. But really it's about the magic, you know, and mm -hmm. these characters. You know, here we've got, you know, Zootopia, mm. such a great popular film. And, yeah. You know, we try to find some, some humor uh, and, as I said, some, some, uh, uh, some tears as well along the way. Because it is emotional and Absolutely. it is magical. Yeah. And so, you know, to see the kids come in here and see their favorite characters and sing and dance to yes, these songs that we've come to know so well, yeah. it's all pretty exciting. And, again, it's a new medium. So yeah. for me, who's used to working in film and television, and you've got one screen and people are sitting there or they're sitting at home now increasingly it's... these days, yeah, with their 85-inch TV. Yeah. <laughs> this is nice to have kids, you know, running around and yeah. coming in. They can touch the walls and they can do whatever they want. And oh, then, yeah, you they're know, not going to got... hurt anything. Yeah. Right, yeah. Okay, well, coming up, we're going to be talking a little bit about what this is on my wrist. This is part of the show. It's those little extra bits and pieces that make this place so special. More coming up on Morning Live. Minus one, and then there it is. We finally get some sunshine. Thanks, Wendy. That's your forecast. Now here's chit chat. Uh, <laughs> that was the highlight yeah. of my morning. Yes. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Wendy. Yes, Just Brian, babe. making out with the sun. That was yes. amazing. The face rub. Oh, <laughs> looks like a dog. Okay, guys, good stuff with Valentine's Day coming up next month. Why not celebrate a classic? Well, unfortunately, he does not share at the door, and if he did share at the door, we wouldn't be talking about it right now, would we? We would not. My son had such a fascination with this movie, but not now that he's seven. It's like when he was four. He was obsessed with the Titanic. I had to buy picture books of the boat. He wanted the Lego Titanic. He was obsessed. With the love story. No, nope. well, the Titanic itself. So not necessarily with the movie, but with the Titanic. No, yeah. but also the whole story of it, how it sank. He always yeah. wanted to know. Like I knew facts about the Titanic about three years ago that I never thought I would know. Cool. Yeah. I went to a really cool. Uh, or we went to a really cool um, interactive museum in England, where at, at the beginning of your your visit, mm -hmm. you're given a card. You're a passenger, and you have to, as you go through the museum, you find out if you survived or not. Oh, it's really well wow. done. Wow. Very well done. Mm. That's just, very just like cool. the movie was. Say what you want about the movie. It's a fantastic movie. Oh, yeah. it's an incredible yeah. movie. I can't yeah. watch it because ever since having kids, I cry at like puppies and 
babies, you know? Like, I can't. I'm way too sensitive for that. And doors. Not enough room on doors. Right? I, no, can't do it. Uh, well, it is that time of year again. Lake Superior University has come out with their banished words list. LSSU has compiled an actual banished words list since 1976, and topping the list for this year is GOAT. Okay. Yeah, I'm over GOAT. Yeah. yeah. Followed closely by inflection point. Then we've got quiet quitting. The other words are gaslighting, moving forward, amazing. Does that make sense? Amazing. I use amazing too much. Yeah. Irregardless, absolutely, and eh, it is what it is. Inflection mm. point. I haven't even heard I, of that one. I don't even know. Yeah, I've never inflection used that. Point. Well, it's like a mathematical term, first of all. Right. So uh, I think I'm tired of circle back. Circle well, let's back. circle back. Uh, or let's, let's circle unpack back this. this. Let's yeah. unpack oh, this. That's a good yeah. one. What about of course? We use of course a lot. I of think course of do. course for <laughs> broadcasters especially yeah, is but, a crutch word. Yeah, because we assume people know things, yes. but like they, they we don't. don't. They don't. They don't. But we Why use do it. You we say use of it. I, I do it too. We use it all the time. Yeah. Of course. Or certainly. Cer okay. I use certainly right. all the time. Or, that's a very immersive point you just made. <laughs> <laughs> Am I using, using that properly in a sentence? I've never <laughs> used it before. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yes, I am. You, if you smell like a goat. <laughs> if you have children, okay, stop it, you two. Okay, sorry. If you have children, you're going to want to check this out. Let's head back to Disney, or not, if you are a child at heart and you just love yeah, Disney. It's not and not that's just for story. Kids. Story. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. It really is an immersive experience. This is incredible. If I move the flowers, will part way for me. Yeah. This is so cool. Exactly. You think the kids like this? <laughs> no, the adults like this yeah, more no, it's, probably. It's beautiful. Well, look, we've tried to make it as interactive as possible. You know, we have our reactive bracelets yes, that light cool. up and all nicely color coded with what's going on. Yeah. You know, it's not a fire alarm. But so, <laughs> so when the room lights up and everybody's like this. So yeah, the, this has really created a lot of excitement for everybody because you can make your own experience happen. Yeah, this is so neat. So, you know, and here we are. This is uh, Bruno from Encanto where we're standing in the Casita courtyard. So mm -hmm. it really gives you a sense like the of the whole environment. courtyard, not just yeah. part of it, but you can yeah. see all of it. Yeah, this is the house that I aspire to. Right? <laughs> we do. <laughs> how did you pick the different segments that you were put in the immersive experience? Like, how did you pick what Disney films you were going to choose and, and the scenes that you chose? Well, how did we, you do we that? We really wanted to make sure that we got a number of the iconic songs in. Of course. And we wanted to create, you know, a pace uh, and an energy. So there are some ballads and there are some more upbeat songs and we you know from some of the great movies you know mm -hmm. we wanted to make sure that we got the frozen characters in of course. we wanted to make sure we got the younger characters in the older characters in so you know between lion king and little mermaid and encanto and uh moana and uh frozen and all the way back to snow white and peter yeah. pan now here we've got oh. some level of interactivity again you'll see where oh there goodness. are about to be uh, we're in Ursula's cave now. Oh and boy! What you may notice, <gasps> there's is, bubbles. Uh, there's bubbles. <laughs> so uh, we have tried to, you know, if you didn't get to wash up or sanitize, <laughs> it's, uh, it's all right here. <laughs> it's your first. Um, oh my gosh! Kids must go yeah, they, wild. They, they over really this. do. So again, you know, in terms of being under the sea, or, uh, rather uh, in uh, Ariel's world, yes. you know, we wanted to create bubbles. So that's a motif. And again, it's in the it's in the gallery. It's on the floor. Again, you see the bubbles kind of moving with you, and again the bracelet. So again, we try oh. to make it an environment where everything ties together to take you to a place where you're in it. All right. Well, if anyone is looking for something to do with the entire family or just on your own, kids or no kids, adults alike, will absolutely love this experience. Thanks so much, Miles, for having us down. This has been. A really cool day. Yeah, well, thanks for coming and hope you can come out again. Absolutely.